welcome back. So today's video is the importance of checking your color. So guys, you could do the best prep work in the world, lay out a beautiful clear and keep it clean and have a nice job when it's done. But if that color is not right, that job is toast. So the first thing you wanna do is always verify your color that you're putting on that car no matter what. You don't know how many times through the years I've seen guys just pick standard and roll with it and not even check the color. So to me, that's ridiculous, but it happens. And I uh, just don't understand it. So even to you guys at home that are spraying your cars, make sure you bring a, your car to the paint store or bring a piece of it that you wanna match, have them dial the color in for you and make sure you spray a little test panel yourself so that way you don't paint your car the wrong color because you guys will be in a bind. You won't be able to tint it like we can us, uh, you know, painters at, at these shops that have a bank. So check your color. We're gonna shoot this big three-stage two-tone and uh, we're gonna see how we can get this one to come out. So we wanna show definitely the, the importance of checking your color, verifying it, doing the spray out cards because that's what makes a painter. It's not just applying paint and getting a nice gloss. It's knowing how to do what you got to do and when you got to do it. So let's get into it. So we're all sealed up and now we're going to show you the spray out cards so i have this color sprayed and i have my sealer on the other side that way you know what the ground coat is and that's a very good tip to you guys when you're spraying these three stages to get your ground coat on the card tape it off and leave that on there that way you have it for every time you know what you put underneath it because the ground coat will change these colors dramatically so this color has two chips from the variant deck and I have a spray out card for this one here that I use all the time. So we're going to shoot this one. We got to put the bottom color on. It's J7 and uh, we're going to start off by doing that. So I got that color also dialed in. So the more documentation, the more checking you have, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So it takes a little bit of time, like I always tell you, but it'll save you from redos. So documentate what you do show the ground coat show the coats and uh, the more you have documented when you do it actually even put the date on it when you did that card that way you know how recent that card is and how up to date it is so let's go ahead and put the base on the bottom I sprayed my card and I taped off half of it to show the sealer that we use that way I have this for later on and this is the best practice that I've had through the years so mark your sealer when we pull this tape the sealer is going to be underneath and that way we'll have that for our documentation on this color what we actually put underneath it so it's not so crucial on a color like this but it's definitely still good to have in case you got to spray a part later, like a door, say somebody hit a door and you already painted the side of a car, definitely want to know what sealer you put down underneath that in case you wanted to panel paint something. So like I was telling you, the more you have a documentation, the easier it is on you. 
So this is all for you, the painter. And also the customer in the shop because you're gonna you're gonna waste more uh, less materials and you're gonna give a better job to the customer. So all these little things will help you become better. And uh, I'm just trying to help you guys. If you already do this, then keep on doing it because that's what makes a good painter versus a bad painter. So we spray both of the spray out cards with the sealer. This is the one we're gonna be using for the red, the RR. So we have both of them with the same sealer that we put on both, so we have them documentation. So I put two back-to-back -back coats. I'm gonna let this dry, drop it. I'm gonna mask up the bottom and we'll start doing the RR. card identified with the ground coat we marked it and then I'm gonna seal over that marker that way it's trapped underneath and it doesn't wash away and it doesn't get scratched up from the uh, wear and tear so you guys know they have them stickers that they make but I like doing this that way it's underneath the clear when I clear it we're gonna go ahead and mask this up here along this line and I'm gonna hit it with another ground coat of base coat that way we get rid of this line here of that dark because you don't want this dark edge when you start putting down your go uh, your your burgundy or your red base you don't want to have that black underneath it because you'll you'll be trying to bury that black edge so I'm going to go ahead and mix up some base of the GS907 ground coat in the base coat once I mask this off that way I have a uniform area to put my red down and I don't have to try to cover this up. I can cover it up, but I've noticed it's easier just to go ahead and mask this off, hit it with another ground coat and roll with the red. So you even could mask this back up to keep the base off of it. But to me, it's easier just to go ahead, paint it, cover the bottom because I'm already going to be covering it the one time. put three coats of the ground coat we got coverage I've checked it with the light and we're going on to our mid coat now we're gonna put two coats of the mid and you guys know I already have this color sprayed out I'm just doing this to update the chip so I know it's two coats we'll check it before we clear it and then we're gonna clear this one we'll unmask the bottom clear it all together <laughs> Thank you. 
right, guys, our color's good. We've checked it, we've cleared it. We cleared the gray one, the gray looks good. And we have them all documented now. And it's cleared over, so that way it'll stay on the card and you won't lose it. Put the date so you know it's updated. And that's how I do it, so let's clear it. color so no matter how slick that job is and how nice it comes out that color is what you got to make sure is right otherwise you're going to be redoing this job so i hope you guys got something out of this one if you did give it a thumbs up and see you next time